Pittsburgh Steelers safety Mike Fitzpatrick moving all around the field this season and playing more slot cornerback can really help the Steelers defense and his stats from previous years of him doing so back it up as well. So, I told you yesterday in my last video that I was going to make it in this video of Mick Fitzpatrick and how DeMonte KZ being on the team and how Keanu Neal being on the team helps Mick Fitzpatrick play multiple positions and do more things for the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. And no, just because I'm saying that he's going to be moving all over the field and even maybe playing slot cornerback and moving down doesn't mean it's taking away his best element, which is obviously being a free safety. I'm just saying for a few snaps here and there, him playing slot cornerback could really help. But obviously, him being a roamer in the secondary and him being a playmaker, getting interceptions, having his best quality, do what he does best, is not going to stop. But a few plays here and there, it could really help the defense. So, just in case you haven't seen my last video, the reason I'm making this one is because DeMonte KZ, him being healthy and in playing for the Steelers, he plays the same position and does the same things Mika Fitzpatrick does. Obviously, he's nowhere close to the level at this point in his career as Mink Fitzpatrick is, but he's a playmaker and someone who roams the secondary, and the Steers usually keep one high safety. So if they play DeMonte Casey at high safety at some points, and he could get interceptions and roam the secondary like he has done in his career with Atlanta, where he led the league in interceptions with seven, and last season with the Steelers in his few games, with him still dealing with the injury, he had two, it helps Mink Fitzpatrick be able to move down and move to multiple positions for some plays. Like I said, you're not taking him out of his element and having him do that all game, but for a few plays here and there, having him make Fitzpatrick be in the slot, guarding slot wide receivers, where in Miami, when he was doing so, he was ranked the best in the league per PFF numbers and stats, and also him guarding tight ends, which the Steelers don't really have any coverage inside linebackers to do so, it can really help the Steelers' defense, and even DeMonte KZ could do that. But DeMonte KZ being a roamer in the secondary helps make his Patrick move all around, and even Keanu Neal. Keanu Neal being able to move all around the field, play that high safety as sometimes he's not more of a free safety, he's more of a strong safety, a box safety, but him being on the team, being able to be versatile, moving to inside linebacker and stuff like that, it helps make with Patrick play multiple positions and the steer is going to three safety luck with all three of them now, if they all stay healthy, which we're even all waiting to see, helps make with Patrick do everything on the field. And that's what he probably likes to do. I know he left Miami because he didn't want to play that slot cornerback, but he says he wants to do everything on the field, be in multiple positions, and him doing so, it allows him to do it, and allows him to do what he wants on the field, and allows the defensive coordinator, Mike Tomlin, whoever, to put him in the best position, and put this team in the best position to succeed when you have multiple people who could be versatile on the field. So that was my thoughts on Mika Fitzpatrick's role for the team next season and kind of being the X-Factor, but even the 33rd team's Andy Bennett said Mika Fitzpatrick is going to be an X-Factor for the defense because the Steers have options and they're free to deploy Fitzpatrick however they deem most valuable, be it maximizing his top strengths, which is playing safety, or leaning on his ancillary strengths so that other defensive backs can hide their weaknesses, which means him playing the slot. So, obviously, he deems Mikus Patrick a guy who the Steelers can be an X-Factor at the slot position, and you might be thinking, he's a free safety. Why would he want him in the slots? Well, if you didn't know, before he went to the Steelers, before we traded him for a first-round draft pick, he was with the Miami Dolphins, and when he was with the Dolphins, he was playing that slot cornerback position. And not only was he playing it, but he was ranked the best slot cornerback in the whole NFL, based off PFF stats. So, here is those stats and those rankings. So, an article that PFF actually wrote back in 2019, when he was still with the Dolphins, actually said that Fitzpatrick moving to safety was going to be a bad idea because you're taking him out of his element, which is playing slot cornerback. And now how you see it's the opposite. Right now he's free safety and people are going to be saying you're taking him out of his element if you play him a slot cornerback. But when you look at his numbers in that 2018 season, you see NFL offenses use three 
or more wide receivers in 2018 nearly twice as often as they did in the decade before. And that was, that's what earned Minka Fitzpatrick his starting job back with the Dolphins. And when he was playing that slot cornerback on the team, he played 379 snaps there. And that ranked among the elite defensive backs covering in the slot. He was ranked first in completion percentage allows, first in passer rating allowed, and ninth in coverage grade. Going back to his college performance as well, he was graded as a top slot coverage player in the PFF college area from 2014 to 2018. He was the best slot cornerback in college in the whole PFF system when he was in college. So, him playing slot cornerback, not only can he do that because of his coverage abilities, but the stats back it up too. But obviously, like I said, he's not going to be doing that full time. You're just doing it some here and there. We've seen it a little bit last season, but the Steers really went away from it late and early in the season. We saw it in the middle of the season when the Steers were struggling, but then after that, they moved him back to free safety where he knows best. But they were doing it a little bit last season, if you remember him playing against tight ends or him playing against the slot guys. So him doing it again with DeMonte KZ roaming the secondary and Keanu Neal moving positions could be huge. The Steelers not only lack inside linebacker coverage and they have more run stuffers, they also lack a slot cornerback. Yes, they brought in Sullivan, but that position has been really low and really low depth and not really elite for a couple seasons since Mike Hilton and since Cameron Sutton stopped playing that position. So having Mike Fitzpatrick to do so at some areas, especially on passing downs, not really running downs because you don't want to put him in a running situation and have him tackle a lot. You obviously don't want him to tackle because they could get injured. So you want him to play free safety more. But on passing downs where you know they're going to throw the ball, he might be your best person to play that position to help the team. All in all, with Minka Fitzpatrick, his best position is not really having a position and doing whatever he wants on the field and the coaches putting him wherever. Obviously, he plays more high free safety and he gets interceptions like in 2018 he had 2, 2019 he had a 5, and in 2020 he had 4, 2021 2, 2022 this past season 6, his most in his career. So obviously the Steelers know how to use him and this is just kind of like a kind of throw out there to see maybe he'll play slot more because they don't really have a slot cornerback but whatever the Steelers do with him, whatever he decides to do, obviously he's going to do what he does best but this was just kind of just a throw out there and give maybe an option for the Steelers and kind of give you guys insight to what the Steelers might do this upcoming season. But with that being said, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about Minkos Patrick potentially having more slot snaps because the Steelers really struggle at the slot right now based off personnel and don't have really elite guys that play that position who have done good. Sullivan, even though he played a lot of slot with Vikings, he was ranked one of the lowest slot defenders in the whole league, one of the worst. But hopefully the Steelers are able to use him and he's able to produce well with the Steelers. But Minkus Patrick may be moving there. Some downs on passing downs could be huge for the Steelers' defense. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well. If you like Steelers content, analysis, and reports, like the video, turn on post notifications down below for Sean as well, so you get notified whenever I post the next Steelers video. I've been making videos like these more often recently, covering what to expect from certain players this upcoming season. I made one on the Steelers' safety, all of them. Keanu Neal, I made it last week, so if you want to go watch what he'll bring, maybe move into inside linebacker, and them already playing him at inside linebacker during minicamp and testing it out, him playing that position, I made a video on him. DeMonte KZ being a key to the Steelers secondary, I made a video on him yesterday. And now Mikus Patrick made a video on him today. So I've been making more videos like this. If you want to see it on a certain player and what they'll bring to the team, go ahead and comment that player down in the comments below and I'll try to make a video on them. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to do more of these and even do more top five people who need to stand out and stuff like that for the Steelers season, the key to the Steelers season, stuff like that. So... Not only that I'm doing that, but any news, any rumors that break, I'm covering it all. This is the best place for Pittsburgh Steelers news and to keep up to date with Steelers football. 
I also covered all the off seasons so far, and I'll do so for the regular season, the playoffs, and everything beyond, repeating the whole cycle. So go ahead and subscribe with notifications on, like, comment on this video, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.